Today we're going to be installing some carbon fiber center console trim on my C8. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Scott and today we are going to be installing some center console carbon fiber trim on my C8. So uh, let me show you the parts here. Uh, there's, there's three different parts. Uh, these two come as a set. This is a, a left and a right for the, um, for the side. It kind of runs right on the very bottom part, like the top bottom part of the side of the console. Well, kind of like right where your leg and the seat moves back and forth. We're going to show you that here in a second. But then there's also this little top cap that goes up here and caps this off which just finishes this off. It just looks, looks wonderful. That's kind of how it looks right there. And again, guys, uh, these are true real carbon fiber. The weave matches to the interior perfectly and um, just looks awesome. Very simple to install. You're gonna see that here. Uh, it's just, again, just peel and stick. So um, sit back and relax and we're gonna show you how it's done. All right, guys, we're in the car and we're going to go ahead. I've already cheated a little bit here and I've gone ahead and pulled the sticky tape off of it. And so what we're gonna do here is this just kinda goes down over right along here. So I'm gonna kinda get myself positioned here so I can, I can do this sitting in my chair. And this is just kinda goes, we're gonna tuck this, um, here behind the seat, you can see this little guy right here, this little curve, this will go around on the back side. There's no way I can show you this part of it. Maybe this camera can pick it up, but you'll be able to see it. It goes right up next to the waterfall and you're going to just kind of, it's just going to kind of go in place. We're going to open up the glove box here just a little bit so it can get in there and it just kind of goes and wraps around and you'll be able to feel exactly where it fits. It, it, there's, there's no guesswork on exactly where it goes. We're going to close that now. And then at this point, this just goes right in, right in the crevice, right here like that. There's really no guesswork to this. Fits right in. And you're just pushing it up against there and it'll bond right to it and there you go so this side super simple the other side isn't much different we've just got two pieces so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna move over to the other side so you guys can see it over there okay okay guys we are on working on the driver's side now and one of the things that I didn't show you on the other side was that you want to make sure that you use the alcohol swab and we're going to be putting this top, this bottom piece right here in. So we're going to go ahead and we're just going to wipe all this down with alcohol all the way around. Okay. Get this whole thing wiped down really good. Okay. And since we are going to be doing the top piece also, so this is going to catch here. This is the bottom. I'm going to go all the way down here like so. And then right here too. Okay. Now the top piece, that we're gonna install actually goes onto, uh, if you have a 2LT, this will not be Alcatara, it'll just be the plastic, but on this one it's a 3LT, so it has some Alcatara right here, so I don't need to wipe that down with alcohol. So what I'm gonna do here now is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna move this, move my alcohol swabs out of the way, and then hopefully the camera is picking it up from both angles here, but you can see that this little guy right here it actually loops up and goes around this piece here and so we've got to open up the glove box and we're going to do the exact same thing as we did on the other side we're just going to get this locked in place okay and that will go in like so okay and then this goes around and it will lock down and we're going to get the, got to get this tucked in behind the seat here and then this will go right there like so. You heard that lock in place, okay? And then it's gonna go right around here, okay? 
and it'll stick. And once it's stuck, we can close that. And then we can go ahead and we can make sure that this goes in and you'll feel the slot that it fits into guys it, all the way down there's no way of getting it out of the right spot it, it just you'll feel it okay and then the stick tape just hold it down there for a minute okay and if you're if you're doing this in cold air in a cold garage then you want to go ahead and take uh, some like a hair dryer or something like that and heat it up because the the tape is heat activated. Okay, so depending on what time of year that you're doing this, you'll want to go ahead and activate it. Okay, so now that part's done. The other thing that I did off camera, guys, is I took the sticky tape off. As you know, I am always always having problems with the sticky tape. I was really surprised this sticky tape actually came off. The backing came off really easy, so I was pretty happy about that. So then you're just going to go ahead and you're going to put this little guy on and hopefully I can get this over here. Normally you would be on your own side, but we're going to we're going to do it over here like so. And you'll feel it again. You're going to feel exactly where it goes in and it locks into place with the bottom piece. Okay, so hopefully here we'll be able I'll be able to show you that. Okay. But it, it fits right into the slot, and you're going to feel it. There we go. Just like that. And it should fit right into the seam that runs right here like this. And then it will it'll lock in place with the other one, the lower piece. And at that point, again, you're just applying pressure for it to hold. Just like that. Okay. Just keep applying pressure until you get it where it's stuck. And that's it, guys. So, you can see right there, that looks really, really nice. Follows all the curves, fits into the slots just perfect, and it just makes it look super, super finished. So guys, that's as simple as it is to be able to put on those carbon fiber trim pieces on your center console. And when you're ready to get some for yours, you'll know exactly where to go. Go to ExtremeOnlineStore.com and they will get you set up. Now guys, one thing I want to set, just say real quick, and I've never said this in any of my videos and I didn't even realize this up until now. It just I just took it for granted that when I make an order with Extreme, and there are some real good companies out there, don't get me wrong, um, that you, you, you place an order and the parts just show up fairly soon. Um, but then I have found that since I got my C8 that there are companies out there that they, you place the order, they take your money, and then they let you know that it may be weeks or months before the parts are available and that they get shipped to you. So that kind of bothers me in a sense on some of that type of situation. I just don't like that. Um, so I just wanted to point out the fact that I have been to Extreme's warehouse. They're, they're humongous warehouse. And they keep almost all of this stuff in stock. If they don't have it in stock, they will actually say it on the page and say that it's either out of stock or back ordered or it's uh, a pre-order. But anything that they say in stock, it is in stock and you will get it fairly soon. They typically ship it out either the same day or the next day. So, um, I, like, so I was having a conversation with a, a friend of mine just a couple days ago and they said, you know, I ordered something from XYZ company, I'm not gonna say, and they're like, I'm still waiting on it. And it's been a few months. And I'm like, oh, wow, I, I don't have to wait for my stuff with Extreme. Um, and so that's just a nice feeling and I've just been taking it for granted. So. Guys, uh, I just, you know, Extreme, if you guys are watching today, um, I just want to tell you thank you uh, because you guys do make sure that you have top quality parts and they're in stock and they get shipped out fast. So guys, keep that in mind when you're, when you're thinking about when you go to get parts for your car, okay? But again, uh, one other thing, guys, again, I'm always asking, please hit the subscribe button. I'm not going to preach to you today, but please hit the subscribe button. I would really appreciate it and hit the bell so you'll be alerted of our next uploads. 
and stay tuned for the next videos that we have coming. We're still doing lots of, lots of installs on the C8 and I suspect they will be going for a long time. So um, I'm gonna try to keep putting one out every week and we'll see how long that lasts, but I think it's gonna, it's gonna go for a long time. So anyway, guys, thanks again for watching and you have a great night.